pull now, but I can't be working in a thunderstorm. I know, you were a little uh, soggy <laughs> when you got here. <laughs> yeah, it was a little wet outside, yeah. just a little bit. But by most, when most people wake up and they head out to work, really all of the rain had cleared out. And now if you look at our Max Live radar, there is no rain to be seen. Yep, that's right. That's just a radar loop, so the green that you're seeing there is no longer actually falling. Everything has moved down towards the south, leaving us with sunny skies here in the big country. But we did see some really nice rainfall amounts here in the big country. And here's some radar estimated amounts. Now the heavier amounts were off in the western portion of the big country. So in Scurry, Mitchell, even uh, Howard as well as Borden County, those were the areas that really saw some decent amounts of rain. And we're actually under a flash flood warning earlier on this morning, but those have since expired. And of course, whenever it rains, I want to know what's in your rain gauge. Well, here's a couple results. At Abilene Regional, just over three tenths of an inch. David in Abilene had just over one inch, so his rain gauge got a nice Nice little bit of precipitation there. And Ronnie, who is near Holly, just saw about a half an inch of rain. So if you haven't gone online on Facebook yet, go ahead and share with us how much rain you received from this morning's rainfall. Now, as we head through most of the day, we are going to stick, staying dry, mostly sunny skies out there. However, as we head into the afternoon, there is a chance for an isolated shower to pop up, mainly for our southern counties and mainly down towards the southeast for the Heartland area. So if you are down towards the southeast, East today. Go ahead and keep that umbrella with you, but don't expect a whole lot of rain compared to what we saw earlier on this morning. Really, it's going to be very quick, very light, and it's going to be fleeing our skies as we head into Wednesday morning because Wednesday is looking to be a very dry day with warm temperatures. Warmer than what we're currently experiencing. 85 degrees right now in Abilene, 86 for those in Brownwood, and 82 in Guthrie. Still a little bit cool for Snyder, who is in the mid 70s at this time. Now, take a look at our almanac. This morning, Morning, we reached a low of 68 degrees. That's the lowest we've been really in the past week or so. What's considered normal for today's date is 93 degrees, and a record of 110 was reached in 1907. But we will not be breaking any records today. We are headed back into the mid 90s, though, just like we did yesterday, as the sun it has finally returned to our forecast. But partly cloudy skies will be meeting us for tonight as breezy conditions continue into tomorrow, with those wind gusts up to about 20 25 miles per hour. And 96 as a forecasted high. Today in Brownwood, 93, partly sunny skies, but again, you still have the chance for some afternoon showers out there. Clouds will be hanging around the area throughout tonight. Your winds staying fairly light, at least until Wednesday. That's when those gusts will be picking up. Temperatures, though, staying about the same in the mid 90s all across the area. Tomorrow, just expect it to be a very warm day, especially for those of us here in Abilene. And as we head into Thursday and Friday, well, temperatures are going down, but just down into the 90s. So it's still going to be a very warm day. It's keeping those rain chances in there right now for Friday as well as Saturday may actually end up taking those out later down the road, but I want to keep them there for now just so you have some type of warning about a quick shower. But right now, it does not look to be a washout, so I would not be canceling any barbecue plans just yet. All right. I'm sure my lawn soaked up every drop that fell this morning. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll need some more. Need a, need a cut the grass before that barbecue. All so. right. <laughs> well, great ideas. Last week.